Hey, what's going on YouTube? And this is me, and I'm back, Big Zo 20, here to talk to you guys about Jersey Shore. Because I know you guys asked me about it, and you guys wanted me to talk about it. So here I am. And it's more of like a random thought. You know, I have not watched Jersey Shore religiously. I've looked at it. You know, I had a, um, a couple of friends hit me up and so, oh my god, like the people on Jersey Shore are so hot. Are so fucking hot. You need to watch this show. You need to watch this MTV show. Because you is I can be galore. You, you would just be like, damn, they sexy. Okay, first of all, clearly everybody has a different definition of what sexy is. But I'm not going to even go into that yet. That is not even the meat of my situation yet. Let's talk about how the first, the number one problem with Jersey Shore is Italian Americans are upset with how Jersey Shore is representing them, the Italian community, because they're calling themselves Guidos and Guidettes, which I'm so fucking tired of hearing. I think Guidette and a good Guidette goes down to the bar and he gets a good Guido and that's what we do. Please, please. But let me just go ahead and weigh in on the Italian-Americans. Get the fuck over it. First of all, it's MTV. Their reality shows have been offensive to many people. That True Life show alone and how they represent some of the issues, some of the issues that they go over and try to represent, represent in a true way is a true fucking lie. The way they represented, re represented polygamy, the way they represented all sorts of things was just a fucking... They do shit to get ratings. That's what a show, a television production does. They do things to get ratings. So they can care less about your little grievance. Second of all, get over it because guess what? What um, Jersey Shore is doing to you, um, Flavor Flav, Flavor of Love, um, Real Chance of Love, all these other black ass shows, black reality ghetto hot mess shows have been doing to African Americans for years. So boo bitch bye is why I say get over it and get used to it because it looks like Jersey Shore is a hit. It looks like they get a lot of ratings. They show it over and over and over again through the week. It's getting a lot of raising, ratings, excuse me. And I believe that there's going to be a season two. So get over it. Get over it. Sorry, Jersey Shore. And I'm just going to weigh in. Everybody's talking about how hot and sexy these people are. And I'm just going to tell you my honest opinion. First of all, let me talk about the ladies because the guys, the guys are a whole fucking section, spectrum on their selves. I mean, I'm not, a, you know, the best. To some people, I am ugly, I'm fat, about this, 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 that. That's fine. But I don't walk around here acting like I'm the shit. I think I look nice. But I don't walk around here thinking I look shit. But these dudes, let me just wait in on their asses in a minute. The ladies, you know, the only cute girl to me there was Sammy. And even though she annoys the fuck out of me, she's very cute to me. She's very sexy. I feel like Jay Wow and Snooki, they've tanned too much. When you look like a fucking tangerine, what? That's too much fucking tanning. That's too much tanning. Look like a damn fucking, look like I just reached into a fucking produce aisle and pulled out a fucking orange. Told them, oh, I look good. I have a good complexion. Bitch, your skin looks unhealthy. You need to go get that shit checked out. Your skin looks a tad burnt. Another thing that um, Italian people who are Caucasian in this in, in America, America, as far as your skin is concerned, you have Caucasian skin. So when you go out there and you tan like that, it makes you look old. J Wow and well, I wouldn't say J Wow. Snook, I'm Snooky, Snookum, whatever. It's cook, they call it Snickers, Snooky, whatever the fuck they call her. Um, Jay Wow, she looks like a 50-something-year-old woman with a boo job. That's, and I'm not talking shit. It's the people, see you, people, I understand that you want good complexion, and you want to, 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 to your skin to look wonderful. You want your skin to look healthy and wonderful, though. Don't go to the, they talk about, all they did was gym, tan, and laundry. Gym, tan, and laundry. Every day. If you're going to the fucking tanning bed every day, and having these same radiation burning your damn skin and the damn your skin skin tissue, it's gonna damage your skin, and it's gonna make you look older. And it's a known fact that when Caucasian people are out in the sun too long, it makes them look older because their skin is not 
adapt like um uh, like um African American people or like Hispanic people. Unlike them, um Asian people and um Caucasian people skin are not uh, are not equipped to handle sun direct sunlight like that. So the tennis shit is not cute. It never has been. There's a girl in my class who's like she just got for uh I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. Anyway, moving on. Okay. Secondly, let me th let me just weigh out the guys that have. <sighs> wow. Wow, where do I start? Where the fuck do I start with the dudes? Where do I start, guys? Let's start with the situation, Mike. The situation. Thank you, you're so fucking sexy. Mike, you look like a 40-something-year-old virgin. You look like a 40-something-year-old virgin. Just because you have a nice body, everything that every... Just because the package does not... Oh, excuse me. Let me get that straight. Just because the package looks nice does not mean the gift is wonderful. Let me say that again. Just because the package looks nice does not mean the gift is fabulous. Mike, you are not all that. You really aren't. I, You know, a good, nice, tight body is wonderful, but when the face doesn't match that body, and when your attitude doesn't match that body, it's ugly as hell. It's ugly as fuck. Mike would be cute if he had a better attitude. You know, I can look past his face. I can look past the fact that he has the face of my grandfather. You know? But, once again, it's that tennis shit. That tennis shit makes them look old. I can't get past the fact that these people on this show look so old for them to say, I'm 21, I'm 25, I'm 22. They look old as fuck. Damn. And Polly. I'm not going to get on Polly like that. I'm not going to get on Polly like that. I just don't like people who talk so much shit about how they dress and how they look. And they just look so fucking good. And they and they go and ring in all these girls. Talking about how these girls can good get. I'm sorry. I've watched the episodes where they had girls. Not Those girls have been fucking ugly as fuck. So, yeah, you can get chicks. Yeah, chicks will get on their knees and suck your dick and do all of what they want you to do. What you want them to do. But the quality of the girl that you get, if that's your quality, I'm not take. I'm not, I'm not going to look at you and say, you the man. You the man. Fuck that. What the fuck? Anybody can get some fucking dinosaur-looking chicks to come back and screw them to help their self. I have to talk about this for a second. When Snooki got hit by a dude in the club. Um MTV blocked it out for whatever reason because they want to be like little bitches now because that Chris Brown and Rihanna thing happened last year. So they blocked it out. And um everybody was all upset about that. And let me tell you this. When you go out to the club, now there is no excuse. Let me first put a disclaimer. There is no excuse for that man or even if it was a girl to just cold clock her like that. Just cold clock her like that. There was no excuse for him to have done that at all. But when you go to a club and you don't know somebody's temperament, you don't know these motherfuckers, that's what you need to go. Like I said, I know I, I don't advocate violence, even though I did do a post where I did fight somebody. That was a mistake in my past. I consider that one of my mistakes, one of the things I regret in my past. Because you don't know people. I could have died that night. I ain't know that motherfucker. So for you, for this bitch, just because she has cameras all around her, to get up in this guy's face and yell at him and tell him he ain't shit, he ain't nothing, because he's taking their drinks, okay? You did, you got what you deserved, in my personal opinion. She didn't deserve it in the sense that it was wrong for him to do that, but she deserved it in the sense that you don't push people's buttons, especially people you don't know. You don't know this motherfucker, and he's all up in your face and shit, and he cold clocked your ass. He cold clocked your ass. And everybody's talking shit about Mike, because Mike didn't do nothing. Mike was standing there, but let me get Vinny, Polly, uh, Ronnie was there. No, all, all them, them three motherfuckers rushing up, and nobody couldn't get this dude. One person separated them three for him. Looks to me that y'all really didn't want to fight his ass in the first place. So I wouldn't be mad at Mike because, it, honestly, first of all, these, none of these motherfuckers are really friends. They're not friends. They're like co-workers. If it was my friend, then yeah, I would jump in it. I would jump in the situation. But if this was a bitch that I just met last week and we were going out to party and she got hit in the face by, I'm sorry, I'm just going to be like, sipping my margarita. Mm, damn, that was rough. Damn, she crying. Will somebody help her up, please? Somebody get her a siesta or something. 
That's a messed up shit. Okay, so long story short is, if you like a show about superficial people who sit around and do nothing but talk about how hot they are, how sexy they are, how many girls they can fuck, how many people they can pull, and all that type of shit, if you like that, then Jersey Shore is the show for you. I'm Big Zell 20. I weighed in on Jersey Shore. I love you guys. You guys are amazing.